Hi folks, I wanna show you how to use a function of Gravit Designer that's extremely useful, a great time saver. Um, you know, right now you're working on logos and logo designs often involve a typeface, um, but many times typefaces are manipulated so that they are not the straight typeface as you would type it. So what I've done here is I've created a text box and I've, um, I've typed in there type demo. And, you know, I could go in and change that, you know, it's all up lower, case or uppercase or change the spelling or whatever I want to do. Um, it's just a standard typeface text box font. I can change the size. Uh, I can change the alignment, whatever. But what I'd like to do is take these letter forms and use them as part of my logo without creating them from scratch. And so um, what I need to do is to convert this into a shape. And that is doable with Gravit Designer. So here's what you do. Um, you select your text box and then go up here to modify and pull down the path and go over to convert to path. Now, it looks like just the text box itself has changed. But what's happened is Gravit Designer has traced the outlines of all of those letters and turned them into shapes. And as we know, with shapes, you know, we can use we can pop up here and use our sub select tool and make all kinds of changes to individual points. And in fact, if I click on this with the sub select tool. You can see, oh, look, all of the points there. But I, I do have a problem with this. Right now, this is all one shape together. It's one path together. And what I'd like to do is work on each letter individually. So I'm going to go in here to modify, go down to path again, and I'm going to do split paths. So now each one of these is an individual set of paths. And uh, you'll notice that the D, the E, and the O, the negative space has filled in. Really easy fix for that. So I'm gonna highlight that letter and add the space, and I'm gonna go to modify. And remember our create compound shapes, I'm gonna go in here and do difference. And you can see that it opens up that space there. So I'm gonna do it again. Modify, create compound shape, difference. Modify. Create compound shape, difference. Okay, so now I have my, uh, what used to be a typeface or a font is now converted into shapes and it looks just like it. So what is the benefit here? Well, let me, I'm really excited to show you. So let's say that I wanted to start playing around with the length of some letters. So I can select those two and now I'm just using the arrow keys on the keyboard and I'm stretching those down and you can see how that works. And I'm just gonna move this entire letter up and kind of nest it next to the X, th X there. And again, I'm using my arrow keys, right? So you can see how suddenly, um, and in fact, I'm just gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna copy this, Control C, Control V, which is paste. And I'm just gonna drag my copy over there. And you can see that I, I can start really playing around with how this works together. Um, and this kind of opens up a whole new world with, with uh, how you start working with type. Now, I'm not saying, by the way, that's a great design, but it's fun. Um, and it's fun to work with. And so uh, I think it can really change the way that you envision things like logos and make them much more professional and also really save you some time. So um, so that is how you take a typeface and convert it to a shape using Gravit Designer. Thanks for watching.